guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm in the same outfit as my last video. Let's just ignore it. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. So if you want to see how this product works, then just keep watching. So as I said in the beginning, we're going to be testing out the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. The palette comes like this in a VCR tape box. So this is the box it comes in and then this is what the palette itself looks like. This palette retails for $52. It's currently on pre-sale pre -sale or pre-order, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was on the first pre-order and just received this actually last weekend. I have been waiting to film with it. So this is, like I said, what the palette looks like. It is, it reminds me of like a luxurious trunk case and that's the whole if I'm being honest, that is the whole reason I bought this palette is because it's kind of like a collector's um, item because no brand that I've ever seen did something like this for the palette. So that's honestly the reason I bought it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So then when you open it up, it has a huge mirror and then these are the shades. My camera's not going to focus so I will show you a picture of them here. So as you'll see, there is a lot of pinks this pink or red and purple this whole collection obviously it was his lovesick palette or lovesick collection was it lovesick yeah lovesick collection so it's all themed around red so I don't normally dive into reds but like I said I I had to buy this because of the box we're gonna go ahead and test out these products I've never tried any Jeffree Star Cosmetics products actually. Alright, so I have already primed my lids with concealer and then just set them. So we're just going to go ahead and dive in. So this is what I'm afraid of. It's like a collector so I don't want to mess anything up and it's getting dirty already. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade Cake Mix, that one, which is just like a slightly darker than skin tone color. And I'm going to use that to set or to start my transition. These shades, I mean, I'm only in one, and it's a matte, which isn't normally the easiest. This is so nice. <laughs> so far, these blend really nicely. I have heard, like I said, I've never tried them before, so I've heard Jeffree Star eyeshadows are really nice to work with. So I'm going to go in with the shade right next to it called Ouch, which is just... Alright, I'm not going to do this anymore because it's going to keep messing up the lighting, but it's just a, a nice, like, soft, warm brown. And I'm going to use the same brush and just go a little lower. There is a little bit of fallout in the palette, but not very much. I'm going to do a pretty simple look. I actually have to go soon. <laughs> For somebody's birthday, I have to go make a gift. So I'm gonna do something not too crazy. All right, should we step out of my comfort zone? All right, I'm gonna use the shade Cherry Soda. Oh, and it's just a like almost true red color. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is pigmented. All right, let's let's share the love over here. I'm not even dipping this in again, and it's already putting enough over here. I I did not expect that. We're going to be blending for a while now. I'm going to go in with Sugar Cake, which is the lightest skin tone-ish color, just to blend everything together. I'm still shocked over here. Holy crap. These are pigmented. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm getting way too distracted. All right, I'm gonna go in with Fresh Meat on a smaller brush, which is just a dark red tone shade. It's like a red berry almost, but more red. There's another one that's a red berry, but it's more berry. So I'm gonna take that just to deepen this. What the hell? These are too pigmented, I can't handle this. I am going to use Donor, which is like a deep bronzy gold shade, and I'm not going to wet it, and I'm going to put that towards the outer edge of my lid. I feel like this is the color that's good with your finger, 
or being or wet but I don't really want to use my finger and I don't really want to wet it yet. So now that that's laid down, I'm going to go in with, what does that even say, intravenous, which is like this really dark, deep, it's like a brownie purple, I'd say. And I'm just going to blend those colors together. I'm like terrified of it being so pigmented now. Okay, so that one I am getting a little bit of fallout on. Not that big a deal. But let's brush it off. So I'm going to go back in with a donor now and I'm actually going to spray the brush so that I can get it more intense. Ooh, there's the color. Then I'm going to literally just flip my brush over and then I'm going to go in there with the shade Sweetener, which is just like a lighter pinkish toned gold. And I'm going to wet this too because I want this one intense. I'm shocked that when they're wet, they're not that big of a difference. Like you can definitely tell that that's more bronzy and this is more like pinky orangey, but they're really similar. So now I'm going to go back in with that out shade, which is that brown, light brown shade. And I'm just going to dust that all over the bottom lash line just to start the smoky effect. I'm also going to go in with Cake Mix, which was that very first transition shade I used, and mix that with this as well. And I just stab myself in the eye. And then I'm going to take a defined brush, and I'm going to go in with Fresh Meat, and I'm just going to line my waterline, and kind of like drag it down a little bit to blend. But I'm only going to take it halfway in because I want to keep my eyes still looking open. And then I'm just going to blend those together with no extra product. Now, he has a really, like, completely true white color in here called Glucose. I never use white. But for the sake of this video, we're going to. I'm going to put another brow bone and hope for the best because I'm already pasty. Ooh. See, I'm already pasty, so it's not that bad. Really quickly, I am going to pop on an inner corner highlight that's not in the shade or in this palette because I want something that's brighter than this. Let's try Ofra's Rodeo Drive. Let's see if that's light enough for me. I typically use MAC Nylon, but I feel like because this is so bronzy, it would be too light. Really quickly, I'm going to add a little bit of Urban Decay's Liquid Moon Dust in the shade Chemtrail just to give it a little gold sparkle throughout. I'm gonna go ahead, put some liner and some lashes on, and then I will be right back to tell you my final thoughts. Okay, so now that I have everything done, um, my thoughts on this palette is that it's actually really nice. Um, like I said, I've never tried any of his products before, so I didn't know how this would turn out, but surprisingly, all of these shades are really buttery, and they just, they blend so nicely. And then the metallic shadows, I think as long as you're either using your finger or wetting them, they're really nice. Um, even without doing it, they're nice, but they're just really subtle then. But yeah, overall, I actually really like this palette. Uh, I'm, it's definitely going to have to step me outside of my comfort zone using these kind of colors. I didn't really go too crazy with the colors. If you want to see me try other colors in this palette and try to do different looks, things that you know I wouldn't typically do just let me know and I will do those I'm gonna be playing with it outside of filming anyway so if you want to see that let me know but it's all I have for this video so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one